10 things Joe Biden has done in his first 100 days in office. Joe Biden was sworn in as the 46th President of the United States on the 20th of January 2021 after he defeated Donald Trump in the presidential elections. Today, we seek to look at 10 of the key things he has done in his first 100 days in office as the President of the United States. Number 10. Mass COVID-19 Vaccinations One of the first things Joe Biden made sure to do upon getting to the White House was to take drastic measures in handling the COVID-19 pandemic. Back in December 2020, he had already set the goal of administering 100 million vaccination shots within his first 100 days in office if he became president. Impressively, the seemingly ambitious goal has already been exceeded by the Biden administration and currently, as at April 21, 2021, they had hit over 200 million administered COVID-19 shots. Additionally, President Biden recently announced the employer tax credit and other steps to encourage other people to get vaccinated. Number 9. Tackling Systemic Racism Since becoming president, Joe Biden has taken steps to keep his promise on systemic racism, especially in housing and criminal justice. He is also aiming to root out inequity and increase opportunities for communities of color across the country. This includes rescinding the previous Trump administration's ban on diversity and sensitivity training. He has also abolished the Offensive and Counterfactual 1776 Commission, which is an advisory commission established by Trump in 2020. Lastly, President Joe Biden has also issued an executive order to end the Justice Department's use of private prisons. This was the first step in stopping corporations from profiting off of incarcerations. Number 8. Rejoining the World Health Organization In line with the abolition of Trump's executive orders in the first hours of his presidency, Joe Biden had the US rejoin the World Health Organization. Trump had cut off funding to the World Health Organization in April 2020 due to his claim that it was controlled by China. He had started steps in July 2020 to quit the World Health Organization completely, which would have been fully completed in July 2021. Biden has rescinded the withdrawal and initiated good relations with the World Health Organization by sending Dr. Anthony Fauci to the World Health Organization's annual executive meeting which happened in January 2021. This helped the US to gain access to the World Health Organization's COVID-19 vaccine plan. Number 7. LGBTQ plus rights President Joe Biden is the first US president to directly address the LGBTQ community in his victory speech. He has repealed Trump's ban on transgender Americans joining the military. He also issued the first presidential proclamation on transgender visibility, which is dedicated to transgender people and aimed at celebrating the transgender people and creating more awareness on the challenges they face every day. The Equality Act, which the President has called on Congress to pass, will protect the LGBTQ society from discrimination in employment, housing, education, and in many other areas. Number 6. Sanctions against Russia In mid-April 2021, President Joe Biden announced sanctions against several Russian officials and companies and ordered the expulsion of 10 diplomats from the United States. This decision was made jointly with the UK following allegations of election interference and hacking by the country. At this point, if you are enjoying this video and its content, kindly subscribe to the channel if you already haven't and also like and leave your comments on everything that you are listening to in the comment section. You can also share with other people so that they can also enjoy the content. Number 5. Hiking the tax on the rich 
President Joe Biden is about to increase taxes on wealthy Americans. This proposal will increase taxes on investment gains of the rich. According to the New York Times and Bloomberg, the plan is to increase the top marginal income tax rate from 37% to 39.6% for people earning more than a million dollars. This will help expand domestic priorities such as child care expansion, paid leave, free community colleges, amongst others. Number 4. Slashing U.S. Emissions by 50% On the same day Joe Biden rejoined the World Health Organization, he also rejoined the Paris 2016 climate agreement that Trump left in 2017. By this, the U.S. will recommit to the global coalition to curb carbon emissions. On April 22, 2021, which was also Earth Day, Biden announced his plan to counter in-house gas emissions in half by 2030. The president has also announced plans to double the amount of funding reserved to help countries struggling with flooding and other negative climate impacts. 3. Afghanistan Withdrawal In mid-April, the president announced that by September 11, 2021, all American troops will have been withdrawn from Afghanistan. This will mark the end of a 20-year war, which is the longest war ever fought by the nation of the United States. This decision was made based on an earlier agreement reached between the former Trump administration and the Taliban. Number 2. Student Loan Payments President Biden has proposed free undergraduate tuition for students who meet certain requirements. Biden has also declared himself to be in favor of canceling at least 10,000 US dollars off of student loans with ongoing discussions to have it increased to 50,000 US dollars. Number 1. Immigration Reset The work of the immigration system is still ongoing. In February 2021, President Biden introduced an immigration bill to Congress. If the bill passes, some few things will change. This may include the citizenship for about 11 million unauthorized immigrants and providing new funding for various key institutions to expand integration and inclusion programs. Central American countries will also be supported to improve their economy so that their citizens are not so motivated to leave the country for greener pastures. So, this sums up 10 of the key things that Joe Biden and his administration have done in his first 100 days in office. Let us know what you think about these things in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you already haven't, like, comment and share with loved ones. Thank you for tuning in. As always, it's yours truly, Impressive IQ, a mastermind of life.